Hello everyone, my name is Esne Kato and today we will learn how to find the root cause of a problem. Let's start with a real life example. Every day I spend a lot of time sitting down in front of a computer and my day usually goes great until I feel a sharp pain in my back that keeps me from focusing on what I'm currently working on. So how can I fix this? Maybe an easy solution to this would be to fix my posture by getting a back support device and call it a day. I tried the surface level approach, but only helped me with the pain for a couple of hours. And as Eric Rice states, the real cause of the problem is often hidden behind more obvious symptoms. So how can we find the root cause of this problem? There is an interesting approach to find the root cause called the five whys. And the core idea is to ask the question why five times to understand what has happened. Easy, right? Who comes with this kind of technique? Well, we have to thank Taichi Ono, the father of Toyota, who developed this systematic problem-solving technique, and to Eric Rice, who in his book The Lean Startup made some changes designed specifically for startups. Going back to my back pain example, let us find out the real root cause by asking why five times. Why does my back hurt? Because my posture is incorrect. Why is my posture incorrect? Because I'm sitting like a shrimp in front of my desk. Why am I sitting like a shrimp in front of my desk? Because my desk and computer are set too low. Why are my desk and computer set too low? Because I'm too tall for this desk. Why am I too tall for this desk? Because there is a 15 centimeter difference between my eye level and the desk. Now that we uncovered the root problem, let's correct it by putting three books under my computer to set it at my eye level while we wait for the new computer base to arrive. Remember that if we just leave the books there, we risk creating a new problem by increasing the chances of the laptop falling off and breaking or getting called out by my manager for the untidy look of it. To avoid this, don't just keep the temporal solution. Try your best to look for the long-term solution. So, what do you think about this method to find the root cause of a problem? Did you find it useful? Leave your comments below. I'm excited to hear from you. Also, did you know that there are four different types of analytics? Check out this video if you want to learn more. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, press the like button and share it with your friends. If you want to support my channel, you can do it so by buying me a coffee. See you in the next video. Bye.